Okay, so in this video we're solving simultaneous equations again, but this time we're going to use an algebraic method. Uh, there's two algebraic methods that you're going to learn. This is the first one. The algebraic method here is called substitution. So we're going to be solving simultaneous equations using substitution. Now, uh, just a little bit of notation before we start. We've got two equations, y equals 2x plus 3, and our second equation, y equals 3x minus 1. Now, it's a good idea to keep things organized. Actually, you've got to do this. Name each of your equations. So I'm going to call this equation number 1, and I'm going to call this equation number 2. Now, substitution means that we're going to take a full equation and substitute it into the other equation. So I'm going to write something here like this. Sub, short for substitute, sub eqn, short for equation, sub equation 2 into equation eqn 1. Now you really want to write this because otherwise this next line doesn't make sense. You've got to tell us what you're doing. Sub equation 2 into equation 1. Now, what does that mean? Uh, we can see that y equals 2x plus 3, and we can see here that y equals 3x minus 1. Now, if we want to solve these simultaneously, we can take the 3x minus 1 from equation 2, from equation 2, and sub it into equation 1, where y is. Because we know that in this second equation, y equals 3x minus 1. So if we let y in the first equation equal 3x minus 1, we should be able to solve this. So where I see the y, I'm going to substitute in the second equation. It's going to end up looking like this. 3x minus 1 equals 2x plus 3. Okay, so you hopefully can see what I've done here. This is actually equation 1, y, this is y here, equals 2x plus 3, but we've taken equation 2 and subbed it in where y used to be. Now after this, it's really just uh, a basic piece of algebra, which you learnt in the last unit. So if you're having trouble with that stuff, make sure you go back and check it out. Uh, we need to group our like terms, so 3x minus 2x, moved all the x's from the from either side to the left side. I'm going to move all the constants from one side to the other. It's going to be 3. That negative 1 is going to move over and become a positive 1. 3x minus 2 is just x. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now we have an x value here of 4. Uh, now that means that the simultaneous solution to this equ these equations has an x value of 4. But remember, a simultaneous solution isn't just one singular value, it's a point on a Cartesian plane. So we need to take that 4 and sub, sub x equals 4 into... Now, it doesn't matter which of these equations you sub it into. You can sub it into equation 1 if you want, sub it into equation 2. I'm just going to sub it into equation 1. Equation 1. Sub x equals 4 into equation 1. I'll do some work here. So y equals 2x plus 3. That was equation 1. So I'm going to sub x equals 4 into that. Careful. Make sure you put some brackets in here. That's probably the easiest way to not to stuff up. y equals 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 3. y equals 11. Now that means that when x equals 4 in equation 1, y is equal to 11. Now, if you take a look at equation 2, we should find that that's also, also true. When x is equal to 4, y is equal to 11. 3 times 4, that'll be 12, minus 1, that'll be 11. So in equation 1 and equation 2, when x equals 4, y equals 11. That's our simultaneous solution. That's what a simultaneous solution is. So the answer... The simultaneous solution to these two equations is x equals 4, y equals 11. What we've done here is solve simultaneous equations using substitution. In the next video, we'll do substitution again, but in a slightly more difficult uh, scenario.